If you want the easiest way to buy and sell shares of stock on interactive brokers, I'm talking less than 10 seconds per trade. This is what you have to do. It's all about using the market order. This is what I'm talking about. Hello, trading family. Andrew Ferguson back with another video for you, teaching you all about interactive brokers, trader workstation. I make videos about stock investing, cryptocurrencies, and more. But today we're focusing on interactive brokers, trader workstation, and the all powerful, all speedful market order. Let's do it. Back in our home screen here in interactive brokers, like we always start out in. And what we can do if we want to use a market order, a market order just fills the actual buy or sell order whatever the trading value is of that stock. So if it's trading at 337 right now, like Adobe is over here, it's going to try to fill as close as possible to it when you execute the trade. In terms of how quick this can actually go for you, if I want to buy shares of Adobe, I can literally just click on the stock in my portfolio up here, a list of favorites, literally, literally like 10 seconds, boom, click Adobe, click buy, click market order, day 100 quantity, boom, it's in. And it's going to be filled as soon as the market makes a match. It's boom, it's done. That's literally, literally 10 seconds. That's all you need to do. If you want to go over and then turn around and sell those shares, you can just go into your portfolio, click your position here in Adobe, the top. We're down six bucks right now in this unrealized profit. But if you wanted to go ahead and sell those shares, we go right click, go close. Going to go like this and just go sell, market, Day, boom, in again. It is done. It is quick and easy. If you want to get in and get out as fast as possible without any kind of defined limit or stop orders, use a market order for your trading. It is incredibly simple. If you can go into the chart as well, you can do this in the chart. And here you go. We're going to go into the chart. We're going to click on the buy button right here. You can actually put the marker anywhere you want, put it in there. And it's going to actually put a little trade in here for you. If you want to change it from limit to market, you can. And that's another way you can do it as well, just to transmit that order and get it actually in the hopper and in. So now we're into Adobe again, 100 shares as quickly as we possibly can. Market order is the quickest, fastest way to get your order in and out. It is what's going on in the market where the market is trading right now. So if you want to do that, you want to be quick on the draw, understand that market order is what's going to get you there. But also understand that if you use a market order, it's going to try to fill as close to that current market price as possible. But if the market takes a crazy kind of swing and drops very quickly down here like this, it could miss the mark or fill a little bit less than what you wanted it to. So even though it's at 337.4, you might be trading at 336.4, 335, depending how fast the market is moving. So in my opinion, it's better to use a market order when the market's kind of standing pat and to get into a trade and use stop and limit orders on trades when the market's actually moving a little bit quicker. So if you want to know what those stop and limit orders are today, make sure you check out this next video in this series and I'll catch you guys on the next one.